this video here is on uh, how to set up the EWM Phoenix 355 Plus Synergically Controlled Welder in the workshop. A video on how to connect it up, get the gas going, get the gas flow rates correct, set the voltage, the job numbers, the amperage, the material thickness, wire speed if you want. So it's a bit of an uh, overall video. I need to say first that we only run two wires uh, here at the Ara Institute. The copper coloured one is a 0.9 millimeter solid MIG wire and the dark coloured wire is a 1.2 millimeter flux core wire which gets run with CO2 gas. So once you've worked out what wire you're using you need to open the uh, side cabinet panel on the welder which is highlighted on the screen to uh, be able to look at the job numbers. With the cabinet open you can see the full job list and you can see on the left hand column all the different types of welding that you can do with this welder and there's multiple jobs. So we've opened up the side cabinet and it shows us the job list. You can see up the top job list we have material thickness, uh, sorry wires, uh, diameters here of 0.8 of a millimeter, 1 millimeter, 1.2, 1.6. Uh, over here you can see that job number 7 is 0 0.9. So it fits obviously in job 7 fits between 6 and 8. The top line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are running on CO2. The next line down 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are running on Argo Shield. So we've got a 0.9 wire which sits in between 6 and uh, 8. So Argo Shield uh, between 6 and 8 is obviously 7 for a 0.9 wire which is running between 0.8 and 1 mil. So that's why we're choosing uh, job number 7. The other one that you will use on this welder if you're going to use the flux core wire is job number 38. Right, so onto the front panel for uh, setting up this uh, welder. What we need to do is just lift the screen up, get it out of the way. And we've found that when we looked at the chart, we needed to be on job number seven. Up here, we've got a button that says job list. Uh, if I push that button, job, it says it's on job one. We want to be on job seven. So just winding it to seven, and that will load the welder up. Just takes a couple of seconds. And this next symbol, in this next frame down here, we've got amperage, we've got material thickness. We've got a piece of plate with an arrow pointing to it from either side, that is the material thickness. The next uh, symbol is a line with two wheels on the outside of it, that's your wire speed. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set the welder up for, say, 3 millimeter. So at that point, when it's on material thickness, we're just going to wind this dial here in this window here we're going to wind it up to three millimeters you can see on the outside here the voltage changing so we're just going to this window here winding it up to three millimeters so three millimeters it would be running at 19 volts now we can actually change the voltage slightly with this button here you can see up the top here the line says uh, the indicator is on for volts if I turn this dial here we can actually adjust the volts down slightly or we can adjust them up slightly so when you set it up for the material thickness on job 7 you actually it's running on 19 volts but just check it because if it's I'm going to wind it up again I'm going to turn it up to say an extra one so when it changes back it should read 20 volts which is what it does there 20.1 so you need to fine tune the volts and make sure it's sitting on zero for the parameters to be set up correctly so into job list set your job number correctly then the easiest uh, thing on the synergically controlled welder is to set it to the material thickness and it automatically sets it up for voltage and uh, your amps accordingly if we push the button scroll through for amps it tells us that it's on 131 amps 19 volts there's your material thickness of 3 mil. The wire speed is 8.1 meters per minute. So um, that's the wire speed. In order to check the gas flow, you need to push this button up the top right hand corner of the panel. It's got a little aerosol can with a um, cone on it for blowing gas. That's the test button for the gas. So you're going to push that button and that will have the gas flowing through the torch. You can see the light on this uh, this side here so the gas is actually going to flow for a few seconds while you actually set it up on the torch so we're just going to do that so with this here we're just going to plug the gas in so we take the uh, gas hose off the uh, welder it's got this fitting here it goes on to the bottom of the Harris gauge here so we simply push that up onto that gauge and then we need to make sure that our gas line is in the correct line 
we're running a 0.9 millimeter solid wire on Argo Shield. So I'm going to take the fitting, it's just a push fitting, take the hose off the carbon dioxide line, which is the far one. I'm putting it over here, plugging it into the um, Argo Shield line, and I'm opening up the two valves. These Harris gauges get a real hammering in this place, so you need to set it up with a uh, flow meter. Currently the gauge is showing, uh, showing 16 to 18 litres per minute. So what we want uh, to check is to make sure that it is 16 to 18 litres per minute because that's roughly the gas flow we're going to use with the solid wire. So we'll just check that. So I've pushed the button on the welder. You need to hold the gauge upside down because the ball is a perfect fit inside the end of the flow meter. So give a smack on something to tip it upside down and then hold it on the torch and then lift it up until you get the flow. It's currently down, uh, what was it? It was about 10 litres. So I'm going to wind the gauge in. So I've now got the gauge up to 22. Just need to push it again. So it's reading just on 15, 16 litres. So uh, we can go with that uh, at 15 to 16 litres. At this point the uh, welder is set up, you've set up the volts on the job number, uh, that has adjusted automatically the wire speed for you and the amperage. You've set your gas flow 16 to 18 litres roughly for uh, both the flux core wire and the solid core wire so you're ready to start welding.